so cut off minimum qualifying marks for general uh, was 35% and for OB, OBC, SC, ST was 25%. So you can just have a look uh, for the HR question, generally asked HR questions. So this way, if you prepare, I'm damn sure you'll be able to clear this. Okay. So let us discuss regarding the eligibility, lifestyle, cutoff, exam pattern, salary, syllabus and interview procedure. Hello guys. How are you? I hope you are doing well. So the CPCB scientist B positions are out that is central pollution control board scientist B positions are out and we have number of positions for number of branches and actually the word scientist B holds the gravity of this position because you are directly related or directly contributing to the national mission uh, missions such as health science and many more. Okay, so let us discuss regarding the eligibility lifestyle cutoff exam pattern salary syllabus and interview procedure. So the eligibility is minimum eligibility is bachelor's degree. So you should have done the bachelor's degree in that relevant branch. And after completing this, we, you can just see the number of positions for number of uh, branches, such as for environmental engineering, we have four posts for civil. We have three instrumentation that is EI. We have two positions, chemical one, mechanical one, AI one. Yes, this is one of the inclusion AI that has been included in the CPCB computer science one, IT one and chemistry we have three positions environmental science and microbiology okay so master's degree is preferred in these and uh, PhD would also be preferred so if a person who has qualified net or he is PhD so he would be preferred for these positions okay so now let us discuss regarding the lifestyle see the lifestyle the work environment that is based at the Parivesh Bahan and the position is in solely based in Delhi in Shahadra right and this position is uh, would be there I mean you would be located in the Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change so the roles that would be involved for this position would be pollution control and environmental monitoring okay that would require technical and expertise in the field work so you would be directly or indirectly involved in these missions of the governments and yes it has a lot of benefits since it is a central government position so it has a number of benefits with job stability yes job security is the prime most okay then pensions under nps opportunities for career growth and it has a lot of opportunities okay so you don't have to worry regarding the perks and incentives since it is a central uh, position so you'll be getting a number of perks and benefits okay yes challenges that may involve are irregular hours and travel for the site inspection so so you have to visit for site inspections that is only one of the challenge but if you love traveling if you love challenges then this was this would be added as an advantage for you okay so now let us discuss regarding the exam pattern exam pattern is computer based duration of uh, duration would be of two hours and weightage is written would be of 85 percent and interview is 15 percent okay so a total of 80 questions would be there that are divided into general aptitude and subject specific 40 questions for general aptitude and 40 for subject specific and this uh, exam comprises of 200 marks 40 marks for general aptitude and 60 marks for subject specific and you would be given two hours duration so you have to complete this in two hours 120 minutes 80 questions i think that is not a bad deal okay so cut off minimum qualifying marks for general uh, was 35 percent and for ob obc scst was 25 percent and yes if there is a tie so this that has been there in this notification that the total marks in the computer based test would be would be the first priority then after that date of birth i mean the older candidate the older ones would be given the preference or the alphabetical order of the names so this would be the qualifying i mean the uh, shortlisting criteria if there is a tie between the participants okay and then the salary for the scientist B position is in level 10. The level 10 holds the basic pay of 56,100. This is just the basic pay. Number of incentives perks are added on this basic pay. So total CTC is about 9 to 12 lakhs. Okay. So this 9 to 12 lakh figure would be the CTC that you would be getting. And yes, in hand, I mean, after deduction, uh, the somewhat would be deducted. That would be already, I mean, they're, they're uh, secured in your bank accounts. Okay. And yes, syllabus, for example, for the computer science, the syllabus is computer fundamentals, operating system, fundamental of programming, then database, DBMS, computer network, and fundamentals of geographical information system, that is GIS. So this is for computer science. You can uh, view for mechanical, civil, and I mean all the branches. You can just view. Okay, guys, 
yes in the end the uh, the selection process or the interview see so we would be having a written exam as it was discussed earlier then after that we you will be uh, facing the interview okay so you have to just be updated with the cpc uh, cpcb's uh, work uh, i mean website there there you can just see i mean what date have been updated there and i would only say that yes brush up the core concepts related to the domain specific knowledge and the general aptitude knowledge for the exams and just prepare for the hr questions so you can just have a look uh, for the hr questions generally asked hr questions so this way if you prepare i'm damn sure you'll be able to clear this okay so uh, very all the very best for your exam thank you